Welcome to another beginner level Dragon Staff tutorial. This time, I'm coming at you with a tutorial I've been putting off for as long as I've been making tutorials. And that is the split time G roll. It is a frustrating trick to learn, a difficult trick to teach, but once you learn it, it is very much like riding a bike. And in my opinion, it might be the most important trick to learn with a dragon staff, um, especially at the beginning level. And I have to say a huge thank you to all of you supporting me over on Patreon. Thank you, thank you, I bow to you, I kiss your feet, I am your servant, in all seriousness, thank you so much. You are keeping my lights on, you are keeping food in my fridge and a roof over my head, and I can't thank you enough. Um, I do plan on putting this video on YouTube eventually because this is a difficult trick to learn, so thank you also if you are watching on YouTube. With that being said, We'll get right into this. And while I am rambling on here, uh, you can just play with this motion here of letting the staff rock side to side um, along the inner elbows up towards the hand. Once one end reaches the hand, push that end up towards the top of the arm near the shoulder to let it roll back down the arm towards the hand. And I uh, just do this back and forth get comfortable with this motion. This is kind of the motion that the staff is going to be making once we are doing the split time chi roll. If you haven't already watched the tutorial for the same time chi rolls, I do recommend watching that first or learning that trick first. That is this one here. As there are some similarities, which is why this is the same time chi roll, this is the split time chi roll and essentially this is the same arm movement as the same time chi roll just doing them one arm at a time instead of both arms at the same time. And I also want to be very clear there are many many different chi rolls. Um, forward rolling and reverse rolling, different variations and styles and all that. So this is just what is the most common chi roll, the staff rolling away from you. And I find it to be the easiest variation or at least easiest for me variation. And with that all being said, we'll get right into this one. Now, just for a moment, I never liked this part, especially when I was first learning Dragon Staff. I hated this part when they would ask us to do this in tutorials and workshops. But I'm going to ask it nonetheless. We put down our staff for just a second, just to learn the motion of the arms without having to worry about the staff. So if you remember from the same time Chi Roll tutorial, we went over this motion where we ran our hands up along our face and down to extend the arms out basically that same motion except for one hand at a time will go up almost like you're giving yourself a little uh, like you're styling your beard downwards here and you'll want to notice uh, the palms are still facing outwards uh, maybe not as much as in the same time chi roll they are a little bit more down in this one but still slightly out so the palm is facing forward touches the face or goes along the chin, then extends outward, palm down and out. Other side, down and out. And you're swiping from the outside and towards the midline. Now we'll try this with the staff. So we'll start by holding one end of the staff with our left hand 
We'll be holding it somewhat loosely so that we can kind of guide the staff with our hand and fingers helping to let it roll. We're going to hold it with the left hand on one side and we're going to place the right side at the top of the arm near the shoulder. Okay, so that is more helpful. And then, like I said, we'll use the left hand to let the staff roll down the right arm. And then once that side of the staff is reaching our hand, wrist, we will set that side of the staff up at the top of the arm near the shoulder. And just repeat that on that side. and then see if we can start to do that hand motion that we just covered. So when the staff reaches the wrist or hand, let the staff roll over the thumb side of the hand onto the palm, and then bring the palm up towards the face. You can gently touch the chin if you like, and then straighten the arm with the palm face out to let the, that side of the staff roll down the right arm. And we're just using our left hand to help guide it through all of that. And then repeat that a few times. Get comfortable with that. And then we'll go over to the other side. So we'll hold the staff, right side of the staff in the right hand. And we will set the left side of the staff at the top of the left arm near the left shoulder. And then same thing, hold it loosely in the right hand so you can kind of walk the fingers along the staff and help it roll down the left arm. Once that left side of the staff reaches the hand, bring that side of the staff up to the top of the arm again to reset the roll. Repeat this. And then once you're getting that, We'll actually try it with the hand motion that we cover. So it reaches the hand, we bring the hand from the outside in, palm comes towards the face, and then we extend the arm, palm face out, so that the staff can continue rolling towards the hand, and then we repeat, Letting the staff roll over the thumb side of the hand onto the palm, bringing the hand up towards the face. Left side of the staff is at the elbow. We straighten the arm to give it a path to continue rolling down. And we'll repeat that as many times as you need to start to feel comfortable with that motion. Because now we are ready for the full trick. Now to put the whole thing together, we'll start with the left hand still being the guide hand at first, only it'll be up near the shoulder. We'll let the right side of the staff roll down the right arm, and once it is almost reaching the right hand, we're going to straighten the left arm out a bit with the staff still, with the left side of the staff still in the left hand. As we do that, we're going to be doing that motion we went over with the right hand, bringing the palm up near the face. And as we're doing that with the right hand, we're letting the left side of the staff roll onto the left palm. And now they're kind of at opposite sides here. Left side is in the left hand, right side is on the top of the right arm. And this is where we start alternating back and forth. So we bring the left hand up near the palm, right arm is extending out, and then once we are extending the left arm, we're bringing the right palm up towards the face, and back and forth we go. Sometimes this view is more helpful so that we're both facing the same direction. And then I'll give you just my left side. And just the right side. A little 
bit closer in case that is also helpful. And if at any point you mess up in this move, you can just go right into the same time chi roll that we covered in the second part of our Dragon Staff for Beginner series. And then go from there back into the split time chi roll. Remember a key point here, the arms are swiping from the outside in towards the midline. Palm is face out. And again, uh, when our arm is extending out, the higher we hold it, the slower it'll roll. The lower we hold our arms, the faster it'll roll. And I think that will do it. I hope I did a good enough job of explaining that. This is a very difficult trick to learn, at least it was for me. Um, so if, if you don't learn it right away or within the first day or week, um, I, would, I would actually expect that. I wouldn't be surprised. It's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, I think that does it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments, and I will see you all in the next one.